When I was a starter model, I, my look wasn't in. It was Amazonial, it was Elle McPherson, very sporty. And so I experienced a lot of rejection. And so I'm kind of living proof that rejection is fine for three years. Because what did I do instead? Well, I went to the gym and I really built on my career instead on other levels. And I took an interior design course and I, I was just very active at the same time as I was doing sort of uh, catalogue work, uh, which I didn't rate at that time. But uh, nevertheless, it brought in some money. Then I became a very successful model. And that made me feel um, both ecstatic and euphoric because it was exactly what my goal had always been. But uh, it also made me feel quite anxious and quite sort of, I had to really deal with my inner saboteur because I really wanted to, um, I found it really hard to perform all the time. You know, every day you are on the plane, you are on a new, journey and you meeting all these big photographers and there's a lot of pressure on you. As models we need to access our vulnerability, we need to show vulnerability in order to be successful and uh, as a result I think we need to protect ourselves a lot more. Coaching kind of gives you that protection, you become much more secure in your place, you know who you are and you know what you want. Um, you work out your purpose, your drive. Stop waiting, get productive. This is the single most wonderful thing you can do for yourself. Procrastination is an addiction. Just shake it off. You know, learn something new. Get some education in something that you're interested in. Hone your hobbies. Uh, get into cooking. Get into reading a book. Uh, share your views with other people and get in connection with other people. This is why the Be Well Collective have been so incredible. I think it is an incredible thing and I wish we'd had it in my day because it is essential for us models to feel comfortable, to know that we have some support from behind. And so your inner language is so important. Write down what your inner language is Find out those sentences that you say to yourself. If you're constantly beating yourself up, gosh, I'm not enough, I'm not good enough. All that, those inner talks are really soul destroyers and really not very good for you. Uh, what you want to change them to is, this is challenging, but I'm going to do it. Or, I'm so excited to work with the biggest photographer in the world. Or, I'm working for Vogue and I'm going to just show them the best of me. As a model, I did not fit the look when I started modeling. And I was very lucky to have an agent who said, you are going to make the cover of Vogue one day, it's just not now. And somehow I just held on to that. And I also had a very powerful image um, that just shows you that you decide life in an instant. It was a bus passing me with a supermodel on the side of it. And I just looked at this picture and I was like, that's going to be me. I'm going to do that. I'm going to be the best model. And that drove my entire career. What drives yours?